Hey friends, it's Jordan Jonas Sparks and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to press that juicy red subscribe button because you look beautiful when you press the subscribe button. So today we are going to be doing a Q&A. This is my first Q&A of 2016 so I'm super excited. I like doing these videos because it gives you guys a chance to get to know me on a more personal level. So to start out this video I just want to give a couple shout outs. So, this girl is super cool. I met her because we both won Trisha Paytas Daddy Issues video contest. Her name is Noelle Brianne, and her YouTube channel is Terry Noel 14 here on YouTube. We're going to be doing some collabs coming up, so you should definitely check out her channel, and you should probably subscribe. The next shout out that I wanted to give is to Pink Baby Glam 6989 here on YouTube because she's a super fun channel and she's been very active on my channel lately, and we're just becoming YouTube friends, so you should go check her out, subscribe to her channel. The last one is a girl I went to school with. She has a channel here on YouTube. She's been running for six years, I believe. And her name is Carly Star. Her YouTube channel is One Miss Carly Star with two R's. And I will leave the links to their channels below here so you can check them out. And I wanted to say thank you to Nikki, Christina, and Chelsea for always watching my videos and commenting down below. I love you guys and thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. I have all the questions written down in this fluffy blue book and I got your questions off of my Facebook fan page, my regular Facebook page, my Twitter, Instagram, and comments here on YouTube. First question we have is from Ashlyn on Facebook and she asks, what is your favorite color? So my favorite color is definitely a teal, turquoise kind of color. But I'm starting to see a lot of red showing up in my wardrobe. But that's not my favorite color, I just like to wear red, I guess. What is your favorite Harry Potter book? Carly on Facebook asks. My favorite Harry Potter book is number three, and that is The Prisoner of Azkaban. Kaylee on Facebook asks, what is your favorite quote and why? This is really hard because I'm one of those people that just like hoards quotes their entire life and if I went through my computer I could have like 1500 different memes of random inspirational quotes with a sunset in the background but the first one that comes to mind when I think of my favorite quote is one that I read on some poster or something back in 8th grade and it said only the dead fish swim with the stream and I really love that because it just encourages you to stand out, to be yourself, because conforming will wind up having you dead, I guess? I don't know, but <laughs> I like that saying. And another one is from a rock that the same friend that asked me this question uh, got me for Christmas one year and it said boundaries are only of the mind and I really love that quote because it always just encourages me and reminds me that you can literally do and aspire to do anything and the only thing holding you back is yourself because those boundaries that you've created for yourself are not real they're just your perspective that you've created in your head and you can break it. Bailey on Instagram asks how do you drink marijuanas? I don't know, you're gonna have to check out my last video of the time I drank like six marijuanas and almost died. Kennedy on Facebook asks, where is your favorite place to travel slash where would be your dream place to travel and why? So my favorite places that I've been so far would be all around Mexico, I guess. It was all on one vacation I went to Cozumel, Chichen Itza, Cancun, played El Carmen and just like drove all around and saved sea turtles. Got to see the beautiful ocean. It was my first time ever being in Mexico so that was absolutely beautiful and I'm obsessed with Universal Studios 
Orlando slash Disney World, so that's one of my favorite places to go just because Disney World makes me feel like a kid and roller coasters are my favorite thing in the entire world and the best roller coasters that I've ever been on were all at Universal Studios or La Ronde in Quebec. Dream spots to go. I've been dreaming of going to Australia and New Zealand since I was like a wee tiny little baby. I can't wait to go to Ireland one day and to see England and just basically all of Europe, the UK, because that's where my ancestry is from and I've never been there and I would love, 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 love to see it. Probably starting with Ireland. Biggest fear. My biggest fear would probably be to be like old or on my deathbed and to look back and be like, oh, I didn't do everything that I wanted to do. So regret, I guess. My biggest fear would be regret. Favorite character from a musical? So this is really, really hard because it's kind of easier to pick your favorite musical, but then to narrow it down to a character, I don't even think that my favorite character would be from my favorite musical because my favorite character would have to be somebody that's like a hero and sets a good example and things like that. So, honestly, <laughs> probably going to get a lot of flack for this, but my favorite character would have to be Elle Woods from Legally Blonde, as cheesy as that is, because there's a lot of great classic musicals and older musicals and musicals with more substance. Legally Blonde isn't my favorite musical, but I think of characters that actually had to face adversity, overcome adversity, and prove to themselves what they are truly capable of and be a good example, I think of Elle Woods because she proved to everybody that she's not just a dumb bimbo blonde and she went to Harvard and she became the valedictorian of her class and she overcame so many obstacles and she overcame a pervy professor and it's not a very likely story, but she <laughs> definitely is a good female icon, a strong female icon, and a great role model for a musical character. I'm sure there's 10 million other musical characters that I could list off that I love. I love Mr. Tenardier from Les Mis. I've already played that role, but I just love how evil he is, but it's just so honest and raw to who he is as a character, and that was super, super fun to play. I love the Phantom. That's like my dream role. It's not my favorite character from a musical, but I would love, love, love to play that role. Or Pippin from Pippin, or Mr. Mistopheles from Cats. I could probably go on all day. The character that I relate to the most from a musical would be Paul in A Chorus Line, which it's not a huge part, because none of the parts in A Chorus Line are huge, but I just so, so, so relate to the Paul monologue in A Chorus Line, and I think it was the strongest piece of musical theater that I experienced, and that one really hit home with me, so that would be the one that I'd want to play the most, but my favorite would have to be Elle Woods for what she stands for and for being a strong female leader. Next question is, do you think Justin Bieber has matured in the last year? And if so, is it enough to win back Selena Gomez? So, I do think that everybody matures with time. I'm not saying that the older you are, the more wise you are, but on your own personal journey, everybody matures as they grow older. You gain experience and you gain wisdom and you become more mature. So in that sense, I think Justin Bieber has definitely become more mature. I think he has learned to stay out of the spotlight a lot with his drama, but everything just keeps coming pouring through the cracks. So I don't know if he's fundamentally changed in the last year, but I would definitely say that he has matured. And enough to win Selena Gomez back. Um, maybe, you never know, like, love never dies in my opinion, so you could always rekindle a love from the past. I feel like that spark is always still going to be there somewhere deep inside you, but I kind of feel like Justin and Selena are done. Isaiah Walsh on Instagram asks, where is your favorite place to shop? Probably 
Urban Outfitters whenever I'm in a big city. My favorite food. Really love vegetarian lasagna. Who is your favorite celebrity? So my favorite celebrity right now is probably Sia. I love her as a singer, as a songwriter, as an artist. I love everything she stands for. I love her approach and her marketing and the way that she is been able to resurrect herself in the industry at 38 years old and become a big icon and be relevant to a young audience. So she's probably my favorite celebrity right now. Who is my celebrity crush? So I don't know if it's so much a celebrity crush, but I definitely am obsessed with Taylor Swift. I think she's an amazing businesswoman. Obsessed with her style, her look, everything she stands for. She's a strong female leader. I've been her since she was like 16 years old, and I'm always finding myself creeping her Instagram. My man crush is definitely Zac Efron. I've always been jealous of him since I was like 17 years old. I was like, I want his career and his life. Tierra on Facebook asks, if you could look at your life and say, I've made it, what would it look like? That's a really deep one. If I could look at my life and think I've made it, I would be in a position where I have a platform where I can use open communication or my art form, whether it is singing, dancing, writing music, acting, becoming a different character, or sharing and pouring out what's in my own soul, to influence any one person to say, you are the reason I did not give up. And that is in the most simplest terms, just to be having a life where I am able to openly inspire people to be a better version of themselves on a day-to-day -day basis and to look and to read in between the lines in their life in order to find what motivates and inspires them to become the best version of themselves and to know that you can overcome any kind of adversity and make your dreams come true. Where do you see yourself in five years? So in five years, I see myself definitely still here on YouTube, sharing my content on YouTube, whether it is my singing and songwriting, dancing, acting, making funny videos, just doing random vlogs, getting to know you guys and sharing myself with you guys. And I plan to be doing more film work, more acting on film. I definitely plan to have um, more than one album released by then. Plan to a dog and some cats and maybe 500 cats. Just lots of cats. But in five years we'll have lots of cats and hopefully a uh, cure to cat allergies. I'm in on Facebook asks what inspires you to do what you do? So I don't want this to be like a pity party for one but I had a super rough childhood. I was bullied by pretty much every single person in my class. Shout out to Amy Woodland Elementary School, the happiest place on earth. I was kidnapped with my older brother when I was five years old and I lived with my mentally ill father who I loved but he was not so much able to take care of us the way that a child needs to be taken care of growing up. So I want to become a role model and become an inspiration to people that need that inspiration and for people that need to know that you can overcome all of the bullying, all of the adversity, you can overcome all of the bullshit, you can say fuck you to all of it, you can dig inside yourself, find what is going to give you your power and fight for it and fight with everything that you possibly have to use that power to make the world a better place. And the last question is, do you think that Ariana Grande is ready or fit to play Penny Pingleton in Hairspray Live? I actually am all for Ariana Grande playing this role. She started out on Broadway. I'm a huge fan of her voice. I think she is one of the best vocalists that is currently present in pop mainstream in music. I'm not saying she's the best vocalist that is alive, I'm just saying that is mainstream and has a giant following and that it is in the public eye. She is a great vocalist. She can dance. 
if you've seen her VMA performance of Focus, it was very Broadway style, musical theater, and I think that she could definitely pull off Penny. She has that Nickelodeon kind of goofy charm. I wasn't the biggest fan of Cat on Sam and Cat, that character, but I think that now she's older, she's matured, she's had this opportunity to perform in front of an international audience, and I think that she's just going to love and cherish this opportunity to get back to her Broadway musical theater roots, and I think she's going to do an awesome job. So that is it. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to be involved in my next Q&A video, I will leave my Twitter and Instagram and Facebook page links below, or you can just ask me questions here. But you can definitely tweet at me, Jordan J. Sparks, or hashtag ask Jordan with any questions for my next Q&A. You can send them to my inbox or DM me on any of those social media platforms if you want your messages to be anonymous. Thank you guys so much for watching and I love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and getting to know me a little bit better. See you guys later. Oh and make sure to subscribe. Please.